Hello everybody. So in this video I will show to you an uh, idea how to make some non-flow vanadium gel battery. So this non-flow vanadium gel battery have similar cell construction like some vanadium redox flow battery. But this version will be without external electrolyte tanks and the pumps. So the vanadium redox flow battery have the battery construction like this one. So here in the middle is some reaction cell. Uh, you see some external electrolyte tanks. One is for the positive electrolyte tank, the other is for the negative electrolyte tank and each tank is connected with some pump. And this is the basic version of some vanadium redox flow battery. But like I said in the beginning, this video will be about the idea of making some non-flow vanadium gel battery. And instead of making all this, I will make just this. So to construct some non-flow vanadium gel battery, I only need this one. Because this version will be without external electrolyte tanks and without pumps. So no electrolyte, external electrolyte tank and no pumps. And because this version of battery will be some gel type, I also don't need the membrane. I only what I need is some current collector for the positive side, current collector for the negative side and some gel electrolyte in between. And this type of battery I will show you right now. So first of all, I will make some basic electrolyte and the basic electrolyte compound is some vanadium pentaoxide, which I have here. So this vanadium pentaoxide, I will dissolve in 20 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. So the vanadium pentaoxide will dissolve in this concentrated, uh, concentrated sulfuric acid. So I have 2.5 grams of vanadium pentaoxide powder and 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid. And here I have 20 milliliters of water. And this solution I will add to water. but you need to add this uh, pentaoxide, uh, vanadium pentaoxide and sulfuric acid very slowly to the water. Okay. So right now I have 2.5 grams of vanadium pentaoxide. Um, 20 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid and 30 milliliters of water. And now I will construct uh, the cell. So for the cell I will use this housing. This is some transparent plastic. And on each side I will use these graphite plates. These two graphite plates will be uh, the current collectors for the positive and the negative electrode. So, like so. And also I have here this graffiti carbon fiber to improve the surface area of this battery.
So I, I will just soak these graffiti carbon fibers with with this uh, electrolyte solution because this way uh, the electrolyte will go better into the structure of these fibers okay so right now i have uh, graphite plates for the positive and the negative current collector and for the increasing the surface area i have some graffiti carbon fiber and in this electrolyte i will add some fumet silica a little bit more Okay, I think this will be enough. Okay, nice. And now I will fill this electrolyte on the middle of this cell. So basic this cell is not one of the best looking cell but anyway this is only for demonstration and now I will charge this cell okay I charge this cell for about 20 minutes uh, and yeah this cell take a long time for to be fully charged uh, but anyway I will disconnect this cell from my power supply right now to see uh, what I will get out from this cell so I was hoping that you will be able to see some color change because you will get different color changes uh, on different oxidation stage of vanadium uh, on the positive and the negative side uh, actually you can see some greenish color red greenish color red uh, gel or on the negative electrode because this one is the negative electrode this one is the positive electrode you can also see here some color change and also here but like I said this one needs a little bit longer time to be charged I mean fully charged but anyway I will try uh, this uh, right now here I have some motor some USB fan uh, this one works on 5 volts and 100 milliamps and yeah actually works Really, really great. And yeah, with this system, with this gelat version, uh, I reduce the system because I don't need, oops, I don't need the electrolyte tanks. I also don't need the pumps. And I also don't need this expensive membrane which is in the middle of the cell. So the cell voltage of this kind of battery is 1.55 volts. 
and let's check what is the voltage of this cell when run this USB fan. One point five seven. I don't get good contact because all this cell is so flimsy made. But yeah, this cell is for demonstrating purposes. So, okay. Uh, really nice. Um, I think that this cell can be improved if you add a little bit more of this uh, graffiti carbon fiber to increase the surface area. For with increasing the surface area, you also increase uh, increase the power output of this cell, uh, and also the cell, the positive and the negative cell. Uh, is better if they are closely together because greater is the distance between the positive and the negative electrode more charging voltage you will need and also uh, the power output of the cell will not be so great so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye